Hello YouTube, this is GT Media and today I'm going to be doing a review of Foxit Reader. First of all, to obtain this, go to your web browser, which mine is Google Chrome. My computer is a bit slow today, so it should load up in a minute. Yeah, here it is. And type into the address bar, bar google.co.uk. And when Google loads up, type in Foxit Reader. Press enter. And click on the top link at the top called www. At, sorry, www.foxitsoftware.com forward slash PDF forward slash reader. And click that link. When the page loads, scroll down and click free download. The link to this website will be in the description as well. And, sc and scroll down and choose whether you want an XE version or a ZIP version. The XE version is slightly smaller, but you can go for the XE version. I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to now. So just click on here and it'll download. And click save. Now go to where you downloaded it to. which mine's here, double click which will run the executable file And when the UACs pops up, click yes to accept them. And the installation dialog box should pop up, which it is doing. Like I said before, my computer's a bit slow today, so you'll have to bear with me on this. Now the installation dialog box popped up, click next, accept the license agreement and click next again. Choose whether you want to install a default a default system setup type or custom setup type. Choose default if you're just a standard user on a computer. And you can either choose enable safe reading mode or disable it. I'm going to enable it. Then click install. Now it's finished install, unclick make your default your default PDF reader, or you could want it if you want, or, and you can create a desk, desktop quick launch and start menu icon free me, eBay. I'm going to disable that, and click run Foxit, Foxit reader as well, then click finish. Now I am going to open a PDF file to show a demo. And we'll just choose that one. I don't know what it is, but so now the PDF file is opening. Oh, it's just from retail as. And up here, up here, you can open a new file from here. You can save it from there. And once you made changes, you can print it there. You can email it there. You can go to the next page in the document like that using that button, and the previous page using that button. Here you can zoom into the document like so and then you can zoom then you can click this little arrow here and click zoom out tool 
like so. And now over here, you can you can sign sign the document. So it's it's a bit of a security really. So people who get your document, they know it's yours. You've given. It's like a tag attached to it. Here, I think you can anchor it. You can add notes. You can add text. You can add a comment box. And that's about it. Fox Reader is the best freeware re reader available to PDF files. You have got Adobe Reader, but it hasn't got as many features. Oh, and here's the drag tool as well. So you can drag the document around and up, like so. Yeah, like I was saying. And f I like to have both because I like to open, use Adobe Reader for opening PDFs because it's quick. But I like this for editing them. And I use a uh, Fox editor as well to edit them properly. Alright, that's all there is for Fox Reader. Thank you for watching. This was GT Media.